just the back and forth momentum oh. swap that there's a big rock here comes Romero oh. but a pull counter there Bang! we go we have there a champion is. ladies and gentlemen Gemma Botan Alex Pejera with the nice shorts on gave him the little tribal shorts a little something special for UFC 300 which I thought was pretty cool of them to do and now that those uh, fight bonuses are involved too, I think we're going to be in for a night of fantastic, fantastic fights. We already know how good Alex Pereira is in the video game. He's very, very solid. Very, very clean. One of the best picks in the middleweight division, especially after beating Adesanya. He is obviously weak in the grappling department, but the hardest part is getting him down. Going up against John Jones, who is doing a wonderful job of utilizing the body sidekick. And that's something with Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill, he doesn't really sidekick or do things of that nature, but he does have really good kicks, especially as a southpaw. He utilizes those body kick threats well, mixes in well. He hit Glover to share with a couple high kick mixes up, <laughs> mix up, excuse me, mixes up <laughs> with a couple good high kick mix ups. And you know that Alex Pajeda has definitely made his best efforts to get a read on Jamal Hill, being that he fought his best friend, his mentor, Glover Teixeira. So a couple of tools for Alex Pereira. It's not just the left hook. It's a, the setup that leads to it, right? His kicks. He has a very, very fast calf kick that has very little setup. I'd argue that if possible, if EA can get somebody to capture a different animation for his low kick, or even if it's possible for them to get him to capture his own calf kick animation because he really... Really, truly has no telegraph on that calf kick, and it is terrifying. And it can pose to be a problem for Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill being an individual who has had a couple of uh, a couple of injuries, most notably the one that happened at the pickup basketball game. We don't know what form of Jamal Hill that we're going to see. I'm hoping for the best one, because I do enjoy watching him fight. He's a very exciting fighter. But as for Poatan... His stardom in MMA has been assisted with his uh, rivalry with Israel Adesanya. And we nail him with a left hook. But he's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Social media, he's pretty funny. He's bought into the whole Stonehenge meme. Like he is. He's the Maui. He's the Maui. <laughs> he's really embraced that shit. And it's pretty cool to see a fighter that doesn't speak English. A lick of English. But you just understand the vibes. You just know. It's just a mood. <laughs> and on MMA Twitter, he's a fan, fan favorite to dominate Jamal Hill, which I don't... We'll see, we'll see. Because with all that... With all that being said, we've seen Alex get clipped before, not just by Adesanya, but in previous kickboxing bouts. Now, I'm not saying Jamal Hill is that level of kickboxer, but that man does a really good job of film study. He's a very, very smart athlete. He's somebody that picked that was a basketball player and then hopped into MMA and became a world champion. So Alex Pajeda, in his humble attitude, he's going to be preparing for this matchup as if it's going to be the best Jamal Hill possible. And he should, and he really should. One thing that may be an X factor considering the bout is if Jamal Hill is going to grapple at all, I don't think that he will. Mainly because it's not really something that he does entry-wise, even though he's saying it, like I have no intentions of wrestling him. I mean, did you really? <laughs> did you really? He's more of an opportunistic type of grappler and very, very on the low end of things. Like, he'll be capitalizing off of, like, top position after hurting somebody, working them in that position. Off of his back, showed pretty good defense against Glover to share. But it's going to be, the, if he gets put on his back, I, it won't be because of a takedown from Alex Bad. I'd be very, very surprised about that. But Bolton, he builds, right? So off the calf kick threat, he builds that with the body jab. His lead body hook is also pretty nasty. And his entire focus is to get you to feel comfortable throwing. Like, if you're waiting so much on the left hand, oh, <laughs> like, for example, you're waiting so much on the left hand that you start to really over-jittery react on it, he's just gradually building you, building you to respond the way that he needs you to. Well, that was a, that was a nice setup. I, don't, I almost feel like he should have got that. And another thing that's really underrated, his one-two. His one-two is very, very good. If you watch the finish that he had against Israel Adesanya, it was when he started jabbing Adesanya, catching him off guard. 
with a very it was a deceptive jab because he keeps his hand so like you know right low close to the chest kind of like how it, his idol is here and when he pumps that jab it's like boom it's coming up through the middle and it was catching out of Sanya off guard it was almost like a hammer and I can see a bit of that working against Jamal Hill and he's a southpaw and southpaw do tend to circle to the outside of the lead leg. And a left hook is a beautiful counter against southpaws. But y'all let me know. Let me know about y'all fight predictions in terms of like the fight picks in game. Everybody has actually been doing that. <laughs> I did it on a stream earlier today. And obviously I got chose Jamal to win because I just like seeing <laughs> I just like seeing chaos. Also, I, I really do like watching Jamal fight. Mm. But if Boatan wins, then it, it gives room for Adesanya. Like, if Adesanya defeats Tukas Duplessis, which I'm a big fan of Adesanya, but I did not think that he should uh, have gotten the title shot against Tukas Duplessis. I don't, I really don't think that he should have gotten it. I think, I thought that if anything, I thought he should have uh, probably had to have some type of main event rematch with Sean Strickland and then get his rematch against Duke, not rematch, get his match against. Dirkus Duplessis. But it is what it is. If Alex wins, he's been asking for Adesanya. Alex has always been obsessed with Adesanya. Since while Adesanya was in the UFC, before Alex was ever involved, constantly calling him out on Instagram for like four to five years and chasing Adesanya down. So it's not the whole, oh, he said something about me in a bar and then I made him regret it. No, Alex was always the guy that was saying that I beat him once, I beat him once, or twice, or whatever, and he was the one that was always saying that, so that's where I'm kind of conflicted, I'm like, eh, people like to change the narrative on Chama Poatan. but he's uh, very much petty, he's, uh, he's hilariously petty, we're doing a good job busting up this Jones too, which is funny, because he's not grappling, like, he tried grappling, in uh, round two, but it's not it's not really too much of a dedicated approach. If I were using John Jones and I was facing against an Alex in light heavyweight division, my goal would be, see what, like, I'm on the black line, but I don't feel like I'm in danger because he hasn't really shot. I would be looking to set up my head kicks, my front kicks, leg kicks too, just to kind of get me to overreact while I'm by the cage thinking the takedown's coming. But if I don't think the takedown's on the way at all, I'm chilling. I did also deny a couple, so that's also part of it too. And I do have, if you guys pay attention to the, oh, there he had he had full J. But prior to that, I had a bit of a grapple advantage. Oh, God, boy, I thought not like this. If you guys paid attention, like I already have like some set grapple advantage, and it's because of uh, the grapple advantage. Oh no. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, this is where we hold a very, very major weakness. Mm. Of course not. That's more stand based than GA based. Which I didn't really even realize until uh, Kinetic and RG told me. Oh, Herb, thank you. We know who you got your money on. It sucks that we were kind of robbed of a matchup between Jamal Hill, Alex Pajeda against John Jones. Even not Asanya against John Jones. You know, that wouldn't have gone well for them. Also, I thought Jamal would have done the best. There we go. Mm. Okay. Jemma. He didn't get that. I feel like he should have got that. Ah, well. Look at me having pity for my opponents. Boatan! He has some nasty elbows, too. Don't slip on them. Don't sleep on them elbows. I said slip. <laughs> don't sleep on them elbows. I've showcased Alex so many times on my channel. It's not even... I, I, I guarantee you if I were to look up my YouTube studio right now, and I looked over, like, search across my channel, and I put Alex... I probably have like 
at least four showcases of, or at least three showcases with Alex Pereira. All right, we're going to search for one more fight, and then we're going to call it a showcase. Got the main event, Jamal Hill. Let's see if we can. All right, let me lock, let me lock in. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. That Jones, I was fine. I was having a little bit too much fun. Let me. Let me try to play it how I think it would. Uh, how it would go? Probably start off with some kicks, some nice low kicks. Good management of the distance from Poetan. Stay right here in the center, but just circling and very intelligently. Keep ourselves within the black line. Akin to how he did against Strickland. Keep working the body jab. We'll see what this hill has to offer. He's trying to manipulate the lead leg kick feint to the cross. Very simple, Alex. Very simple. Check. Circle, circle. Okay. Don't want to be here. We know he's not going to grapple us. Just trusting our block. There we go. Jamal Hill overextends, gets too confident against Alex Pereira, gets dropped twice in succession. We're just going to bide and take our time. Bide, take our time, knowing that we've landed. We're going to learn from our mistake against Israel Mubalaji Temiteo Danayo Adesanya and not get knocked out. Trying to force a finish. We don't need a force a finish. We are Poatan. The finish will come if need be. Body jab. Maintain that control. Mm. Mm. Hey. Okay, couple right hands land there. Sneak in that left body hook. Beautiful double overhands from Jamal Hill. Trying to counter against the leg kicks of Alex Pereira. Usually you'd expect a straight, some straight shots from uh, Southpaw, but. We'll stand our ground for we are Poatan. Block counter lands. And the amount of left hooks I'm landing with Alex, you cannot afford to keep taking those in succession. Mm. So we need to go forward. Catch, 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 catch. And back, back to center. Try pressure, but we're met with a one-two. Nice one-two from Jamal. Mmm. Front kick. This is how you methodically pressure somebody. Let your footwork do the pressure. And back, we're gonna guide. Intercepting knee. Footsie for EO purposes. Mm. Jamal, you're not respecting the power. You are not respecting Alex's power, and that's a dangerous mistake to make. If I were him, I would focus on just trying to land that left hand. Lots of feints. Lots and lots of feints. Trying to work more with those body kicks, too. Not necessarily trying to leg kick with me, but just the body kicks. They would help exponentially, but overcommits on the left uppercut and gets sat down by the Poatan. Shout my left hook. Look at that beautiful inside slip. Look at the stamina advantage, too. Mm. We start to get a little bit more aggressive now. We've made our reads. We're looking to land that left hook at the end of the exchanges. Block counter doesn't register there. Chalk that up to Eves. Switch to Orthodox for some reason. One, two lands. Another left hook lands. Doesn't want to back up. That's fine. Stand your ground. Poatan. Mm. Careful. Mm. 
Lead, lead overhand. Just throw it again, Nelson. That's nice. Front kick. Oh, brother. Jamal, not like this. Not like this, Jamal. Not like this. Is this how it's going to go? I'm not going to get swept. Keep throwing that keep throwing that lead hook. Keep throwing that lead hook. I got a cannon of a hand waiting for you. I'm telling you. If the fight ends like that, just know my video predicted it. He just walked himself right into that. He just kept firing, firing, firing. No respect for Alex Pereira's power. And we're going to finish off the showcase with a beautiful left hook block counter to finish off Jamal Hill in the main event of UFC 300. Is that going to happen? I hope not, for the sake of some of my friends' parlays. But if so, it is what it is. Remember 17, I appreciate y'all. Much love, take care, and enjoy the fights.